everybody. You know, I'm often asked about my favorite spirits in Moonstone Island, and my answer? I love to choose the strongest ones, of course, and Magic Hat. So today, I'ma tell you my top 5 spirits for combat and a suggested build for them. I chose them based on their cards and their passives. Now let's go. For my top 5, it's Fishbow. Yep, Fishbow. Waldo's favorite spirit and the first spirit to officially have a plushie. But I didn't choose Fishbow just because of its cute character design. I chose it because its passive is actually one of the most useful ones among the water spirits in terms of combat. Plus, you'd easily find a Fishbow very early in the game as it's common and it resides on beaches which are among the first biomes that you can find. Fishbow's passive lets you heal plus 10 HP each time you feed a spirit in combat. So if you decide to feed a crop that heals another spirit, Fishbow will regen plus 10 HP as well. It's very handy in the early game as our spirits have low HP then, so that plus 10 HP helps a lot in combat. Though the problem with this is that the passive is only good for the early game, as 10 HP barely matters once your spirit levels. But anyways, I built my Fishbow as semi-support with lots of group hug and HP rain for healing, Ablution and Holy Water for removing poison and burn, and a couple of Consume, Bash, Hydromancy, and Refresh for utility. For damage, it only has Soap Plus for triple AoE. So yep, to sum it up, Fishbow is very easy to find, easy to tame, and has a great passive for the early game. Top 4 Bubux Bubux is my favorite dark spirit because of its passive and its cards do super OP raw damage. I built my Bubux to only have Nightfall for loads of energy, Nightmare for AoE damage, Shave Shift for boss fights utility, but I barely use it so I only have one copy of that card. A couple of Still Life for healing, and my favorite dark card, this card summons a Blood Rites card, and then a Cosmic Horror card which deals massive AoE damage based on Papak's power. Papak's passive also removes all burn and poison, so... Yep, this spirit is definitely a must-have. Top 3 Flambit Flambit has the more useful passives among the fire spirits because it adds damage over time, and sure, one burn ain't much, but it could be slightly useful when building a Flambit with full burn, rainfire, and fine flame cards. And since burn is a DOT, it reduces the target's HP directly, so you don't have to break the target's armor. I also added a few explode cards for my Flambit and prioritized its vets for burst single target damage and a couple of fire breaths for fighting pop ups because I usually level my spirits in dark biomes. Top 2 Marsha Marsha is like the most broken spirit ever in this entire game. You can never go wrong in bowling a Marsha, but to optimize its deck, you can choose cards that gives poison only and not poison damage. The best ones are Reckless Gas, Spore, and Poison, leaving other skills with poison like Potent Pollen, Poison Leaf, and Venom Vine are alright too if you're too lazy to optimize your deck. As long as it has poison, then it's no problem. Match that with a buttload of accelerant and you're done! You can finish Moonstone Island with 2 level 20 marshes and 1 psychic spirit. Why 2 marshes and a psychic spirit you might ask? Because marshes passive applies 1 poison to all enemies whenever you apply any card with poison. So if you have say, I don't know, 9 energies and 8 poison cards, then you'd be doing 80 poison DOT from the poison cards plus 8 more from marshes passive. And then maybe use an accelerant just for fun. That will triple all your poison. Oh, and since poison is also a DOT just like burn, then this ignores armor and deducts HP directly as well. So there's no need to break your enemy's armor. And form a top one. Magicat. I might be a bit biased on this one because Magicat is a cat. But anyways, Magicat is my top one simply because it's flexible and very cute. Magicat is the best support as its passive upgrades any card on your deck every turn. Plus, you can build your Magicat as pure energy, draw, and bash build like this one. I spammed my Magicat with Enlightened and Open Mind for energy, free thought just for weakness break, I mean, it's free, and Premonition and Meditation.
candidate for more cards. I also added a few mind blasts just in case my other spirits die, but... Well, I never really got to use that card. I also kept some bash cards just for the hell of it. But if you're gonna pair Magicat with DOT built Marshals or Flambits, you wouldn't really need bash anymore. My favorite lineup are actually two Marshals and one Magic Cat. That's the lineup that I always use to speedrun this game. And that's about it. What about you? What are your top 5 spirits? Let me know in the comments. And don't forget to boot that like and subscribe for more Moonstone Island guides coming your way. Bye bye!